The Destroyer. The Bible is the history of humanity in the seed line of Christ, but the Holy Spirit is woven through these stories to reveal to us the purposes of God. The Holy Spirit forms patterns and symbols and language of numbers and colors. And the principle of first mention is of utter importance. We cannot just read about the cup of the Lord. We have to go look where the cup is first mentioned. And we realize it was found in the bag of Benjamin. The son of my sorrow became the son of my right hand, revealing that the best is kept for last. So we have to go look at Satan from the beginning. Where did we read about Satan first? Genesis 3 verse 1 says, Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, Yea, have God said, Ye shall not eat of the tree of the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat of the trees of the garden, but the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God said, Yea, you shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. And the serpent said to the woman, You shall not surely die, for God know that in the day you eat thereof, you shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good, and it was pleasant to their eyes, and the tree was desired to make man wise, she took thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband that was with her, and he did eat. The woman was deceived, but the man was disobedient, the Bible tells us. Satan was more subtle than all the animals God created. He ruled darkness, but he was a created being from the beginning. Now this was never taught to me. The time has come that we really need to understand what does the Bible really teach us. Isaiah 54, reading from verse 11. O thou afflicted, tossed and tempest, and not comforted, that means man in fallen condition and day of death. Behold, I will lay your stones in fair colors and lay your foundations with sapphires. Well, this is described in Revelation 22. The foundation stones of the new Jerusalem was the apostles. And he says, I will make thy windows agates and their gates carbuncles and thy borders of pleasant stones and all thy children shall be taught of the Lord. And great shall be the peace of thy children. The kingdom is righteousness, peace, and joy. In righteousness thou shalt be established. Thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear, and from the terror, for it will not come near you. Behold, they shall surely gather, but it will not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for your sake. Behold, I have created the smith to blow the coals in the fire and bring forth the instrument for his work, and I have created the waster to destroy. But no weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue shall rise against you, and judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, says the Lord. When Jesus went to prepare this place, he said, I'm going to prepare a place that you can be where I am. Where was he? He was right in this world where Satan could not even touch him. Couldn't, but he was there acting and carrying on, but he couldn't touch the Christ. And this is the place prepared for us in the kingdom. So how can God says he made the destroyer to destroy, but yet it will not touch us? It's like, it looks like contradiction. No, it's all about realms. We are still in the realm of darkness. God never intended for us to be comfortable in this realm because this is not eternity. Everything that happens here is temporal. But because of our darkened minds, we think whatever we gather and whatever we do is eternal. No, only that which is done for God is eternal. So the destroyer comes the gold, the silver, and the precious stones, they will stay. But the rest will be burned, but you will be saved. In darkness, the destroyer destroys, because God doesn't want us to settle in darkness. But in the new, the Holy Spirit 
burns all the flesh so we can become what God intended for us. The destroyer is actually to protect yourself from not trying to make this temporal realm eternal. Noah's generation became the raven generation and they went right down and started building a tower and say, we will reach God. <laughs> God said, no, you have not counted the cost, Satan. But Babel became the seed of all the nations. And the biggest nation that ever was, was Babylon. But while Babylon was forming amongst the nations, God called Abraham and he said, I want you to go and move to the promised land. But when they turned their promised land eventually, into a wilderness they were taken back to Babylon because they wanted a king and they rejected God so the feet of the statue which formed the image of the beast was Rome and eventually they allied with Rome to take out the Christ and the book of Revelation deals with Rome turning onto Israel and removing their final sacrifice because they rejected the Jesus as the final sacrifice. The veil was rent, but they went right on sacrificing. Sitting in Moses' seat, they did it their own way. I'll do it my way. The fig tree resembles my way. God stopped the Tower of Babel. He stopped the fig tree because He intends for us to be in the kingdom. And everything that comes in the way of taking you to the kingdom, He will stop it. It burns. The Holy Spirit is now inside of us. The mercy see judgment. But God is a jealous God. He is a fire. And all these works burn. In order for us to step into the promises God has given us that's already set in the heavens and the heaven opened right here on earth. The husbandman waits patiently for us to step into what he has prepared for us. 1 John 3, 8 He that committeth sin is of the devil, for the devil sins from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifest, that he might destroy the works of the devil. He destroyed the destroyer.